A warm California sun covers the Arroyo Seco in Pasadena, California. The famed Rose Bowl jammed with 100,000 plus fans to see the University of Southern California Trojans, the Pac-10 champions against the Spartans of Michigan State, champions of the Big Ten. It's the 74th edition of this historic Rose Bowl. And the conditions are absolutely ideal. Temperatures near 70 under clear skies. The natural turf field is firm and it is fast. Hello, everyone. Dick Kenberg with Merlin Olsen. And Happy New Year, everyone, and a healthy one in 1988. Merlin Olsen, you played in the defensive line. George Perlis, a defensive coach with the Steelers, the head coach of the Michigan State Spartans. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders. The Big Ten has not done well here. Would you like to have played for him? Dick, I not only would like to have played for him, I'd have loved to have played with him. Loves the game of football, tough, eye-to-eye -eye kind of guy. And if it's true that teams take on the personalities of their head coaches, this Spartan team is going to have one tough day today. The 53-year-old Perlis is a native Michigander. He has his team in the locker room night right now getting them ready for the kickoff. We thought you might like to have a sample of what he may be saying right now. We're going to go out there. The last thing we're going to say when we go out the door, we're going to throw out the... X's and O's. We're going to go out there and I want you to play tough. I want you to play mean. I want you to play with strength. I want you to play as tough as you can. And if you're tough and you do it within the rules, when you come in this locker room, I'll be proud of you. And that's all I can ask for me. Well, you can bet that in this Rose Bowl, his team will play tough. They're the best defense against the run in the nation. Second best overall. And they meet the Southern California Trojans in just minutes. Let's go back to mid-November, East Lansing, Michigan. A big day for the Spartans. And George Perlis, who promised that in five years he would bring a Big Ten title and delivered against the Indiana Hoosiers. And the mass celebration, a royal celebration by the fans in East Lansing on the campus of Michigan State. Many of them are here today. 20,000 or more will be here cheering for the Spartans at the Rose Bowl. And here is the starting lineup on offense for the green and white. the starting lineup for the Spartans of Michigan State. At quarterback from Pompano Beach, Florida, Bobby McAllister. The lanky junior is a serious threat both running and passing the ball. At tailback, All-America Lorenzo White, number 34. He's the second leading rusher in the history of the Big Ten, carried over 1,000 times in his career. Sophomore James Moore is the Spartan fullback, used rarely, carried only 20 times all season. At split end, junior Andre Risen leads MSU in receiving many of his catches acrobatic. Risen is the fastest Spartan. And number 17, Willie Boyer, a junior from Detroit, will start at flanker. At tight end for the Spartans, Mike Sargent, 241-pound senior, highly regarded as a blocker. The Michigan State offensive line is anchored by all Big Ten tackle Tony Mandarich. He's 6'7 and 289 pounds. At left guard, 269 pounds sophomore Bob Kula. The Michigan State Center is Pat Shermer, named all Big Ten and also all academic Big Ten. The right guard, 271 pound junior from Fenton, Michigan, Vince Tata. And the starting right tackle, 285-pound senior David Houle. That's the starting lineup for the Michigan State Spartans. The Spartans returning to Pasadena. Their last visit was in 1966 under Duffy Doherty. And they get a standing ovation from their faithful as they take the field as we're ready for the coin toss. The Grand Marshal... Gregory Peck with the two captains and today's referee Gilbert Marchman from the Big Ten. It's a split crew, half Big Ten and half Pac-10 officials. This is a moment that every player that has come through that tunnel would describe in different manners and we've asked many of them and one word that comes out time and time again, electric. It's electric. You can feel the electricity in this stadium, Dick. The excitement level so high. And the most important thing, the waiting for these players, which has been so difficult, is almost over. Southern California has the call. And Michigan State will get the ball first. No, they're not. They've elected to take the kickoff in the second half. 
Well, I think if you have a great defense, that's something you may want to do is put your defensive team on the field first and really test Rodney Pete and that USA offense. In 1966 unbeaten LBJ. Lyndon Johnson was the president in 66, and that was the year UCLA upset them 14 to 12 and denied them a national championship. The 74th Rose Bowl game underway, and it's Cleveland Calder at the 15. And dragged down at the 24. Dixon Edwards, number 57, in on the stop. Kevin McLean, backup quarterback, will hold for Quinn Rodriguez. He's a freshman. Hit on 12 of 15 field goal attempts this year, and he puts Southern California on the board. A 34-yard field goal for Quinn Rodriguez, and with 7 minutes and 28 seconds left in the opening quarter of this Rose Bowl at Southern Cal by three. Roll it out. McAllister's first pass of the game. Here's Lorenzo White, balding, hurtling, and fighting oh. close to a first down. Marcus Cotton finally made the tackle after nearly a 10-yard game. Out of that ball carrier. McAllister on third and five to throw. And now the scramble. He's got five and more. And a first down at the Southern Cal 38. McAllister. To the defense as they intercepted seven Wolverine passes in that victory. Deepest drive for the Spartans. They trail 3 0. Lorenzo White with the 21. Oh, he's showing some moves to that Southern Cal defense. Carrier and Colter, the two safety men with a tackle. Then one, they're going for it. Dwayne Young used primarily as a blocking back as the wing to the left. White diving for the first down. Lorenzo White for the first down. defense will find them submarining. There is no way to stop this play. Look how high White goes. Looks like a three-meter champion as he goes over Greg the top. Luganus. Whoop. A risk, and a little more risk than we've seen George Perlis take ordinarily as he goes for the fourth down play. 13 plays on this drive, 12 on the ground. That's true to form for the Spartans. And it's down. true to form to give it to 34. Lorenzo White, he's to the five. Great running backs have the ability to see the hole and then they make yardage on their own. Look at this as he spins away from Coet, keeps his balance, gets away from Stokes, finally taken down by Carrier. Watch the quickness here as he sees the hole and just explodes inside, getting away from Marcus Cotton in the process. Oh, that's a ballet. First and goal, Michigan State trailing 3 0. It's white again. He's got a touchdown. Great block by Mike Sargent, the tight end out there, to help clear the way. A couple of defenders got caught up with each other on the line. Lorenzo White just turned off the turned on the afterburner and put it in the end zone. Interesting note, Nick Ember, this Michigan State team, when they get ahead, they don't give you back the lead. They just keep right on going. That was a Lorenzo White drive. He's carried 12 times already and punches it into the end zone. Lang Lowe's extra point drive. And Michigan State leads 